Good morning, fishy folks. Happy hump day. It's Wednesday uh, morning. Figured I uh, came down here to feed the fishies and we're gonna do a quick update. What you're looking at is one of those acrylic tanks I bought a couple weeks ago. Bought four of them. Uh, one that looks like this. It's wider on the top and three that are wider on the bottom. 40 bucks, so $10 each. They're about 25 gallons. Thought it was a great deal. Um, figured I'd check it out. So that's one of them that's in the system. Um, this is what the back looks like. And that's, you can see my messy workbench. Let's move the water bottle. And you can see how that one's wider on the bottom. That's what the top looks like. So it came with with this, which is right here. Um, that's one and a quarter inch. That's one inch tube. I like everything to be uniform, so I have to adapt it. So uh, this female adapter, which screws onto there, and then let's see if I can take this out one-handed. Look at that. And then this adapter threaded goes into there like that. That's glued in, and then a barb, a hose barb, goes down there. Uh, for my three quarter inch hose. I do have another barb somewhere. Anyway, originally for this side, oops, uh, I need to seal up the hole here because my water comes in from the top. I don't like it hard plumbed. Um, so I, it's just easier to move them if I want to move them. Um, I thought about using this to plumb it, but the way the pipes up there work it would require a lot more plumbing and I don't feel like doing it so so these two pieces are pretty simple it's it's a uh, oh, hey, nice finger it's uh, these two pieces here and originally I had this gasket you know down there I made it with the gasket material that I had but I these aren't meant to seal anything this is you know just a cap it's not a sealing cap so these threads are pretty tight. It didn't really go down far enough. So I uh, bought this pretty thick gasket here. Um, I think it was like $1.32 at Lowe's. And it seals fine. Now let's talk about fishies. Uh, here's a grow out tank for some fancy guppies. <coughs> it's looking kind of light. I've been separating males and females as I can. And I put maybe uh, eight outside in a little garbage can. Uh, that my wife is using to collect water for her pond and she complained about mosquitoes so these guys took care of the mosquitoes for her nothing going on really in this tank um, lots of fry in this tank growing out a gold ram he's looking pretty pale since uh, his girl left us I'm trying to find a uh, couple females that I like that aren't going to break the bank uh, my Angels doing well. Uh, Cobra Endler guppies, lots of babies in there. Let's talk about mom, mom for a second. You know, all that leftover food and waste and stuff. It's a fish room, it's not a show tank. And quite frankly, all those tiny little fry eat on it. You know, you, if you look closely, you probably can see some eating on it now. So, I, I don't. First of all, cleaning it with those little tiny fry in there would be pretty difficult. And second of all, it's useful. It's good for them. So I leave it in. Uh, we did have some babies in here, the blue diamonds. They are small. Um, and it just happened yesterday, actually. Oh, there's one. I don't know if you can see it. Can you see it? No. Uh, oh, there they are. Mom was trying to eat one. Uh, there's a ton in that spawning mop if I shook it out but obviously they want to stay safe those guys laid eggs Father's Day and the slate they got a clean slate <laughs> um, I don't know if they ate them or they moved them I'm not overly concerned it was their first time I would have been surprised if they actually hatched anyway uh, these guys haven't laid any eggs since they uh, ate their last batch and they've been guarding that filter though for like three days and I I don't really want to move it or look or you know get put my hand in there but I don't see any eggs um, these guys are due to spawn again soon and the platinums are looking great growing out nice so 
hi to the Oscars, Mac and Zach. What do we got over here? Green Cobras. I lost a couple females um, a couple weeks ago, so hoping we can get some spawns out of them. Yellow, 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 yellow guppies. Bunch of fry in there. Some males. New project. Uh, red platies, red Mickey Mouse platies. Uh, so many different names. But my local fish store tells me anything red sells, platy sell, guppy sell, molly sell, guess what I'm going to be breeding? Whatever he wants, whatever he says sells is what I will breed for him. Uh, Dumbo ears, there's lots of fry in there. Last time I counted, there, I think I counted like 15. But they're pretty small and they kind of hang out in that spawning mop also. Uh, here's some more grow outs. Just, uh, I like the pattern on them. And also, some of them have that Dumbleware trait, I think. I don't know if they jumped from here, or I'm just crazy, or dad or mom had it. Because, like, that, one of those guys looks like that guy. But that guy doesn't have big old dorsal fins. Anyway, English lace, there were, there are fry in here, but they're pretty tiny. I don't know if these strains, they just grow slower. Um, you see any fry in there? Oh yeah, you see it right by the pipe. Anywho, uh, more grow outs, poison droves. Uh, I had a $29 tank down there that I was gonna use as a QT tank. I gave it to a coworker who really needed it. Uh, that fear will come in handy later, I'm sure. Uh, I forgot what these are called. Gold Lair Tail Mollies, I think. Petco, dollar a piece. They sell at my local fish store. I'm sure they will sell at my local fish store, but they're in QT now, and then we'll start the breeding program when we move them over to the system. You can see that blue slash purple guppy boy. It's gonna go nice with the purple mama I have. This tank is a little, a little concerned over the inhabitants. Uh, I did have three of those yellow females, two with that bat pattern in the tail and two more of a cobra pattern in the tail. And uh, two of the females passed one day after the other, and the other one has her tail all chewed off. I saw it this morning. I got some footage, but my phone took a crap, so I had to restart it, and I lost the footage, but... Uh, I don't know if she's going to make it, but quite frankly, those boys are, are quite lovely, so i got to figure out who I'm going to breed them with. All right, well, that's an update from the fish room. Oh, one more update, two more updates. Uh, I've decided this is just going to be a QT tank. Uh, I'm going to seal that a bulkhead hole. Um, I have a, a finally placed owner with Imperial Tropicals. So it should be here tomorrow. Dustin from Dustin's Fish Tank does a weekly thing from there, and he there was a sale, buy one, get one, and I couldn't resist. There were some strains on that buy one, get one that I wanted, and so I took advantage, and there was a, a strain of a sore tail that I've been wanting for a while. Uh, it'll be a surprise, though. I'll do... I'm going to try to do an unboxing, but I don't, I don't know if I'm actually going to do it, if you'll just see the the actual progress of it, not me actually doing it. So, all right, boys and girls, have a great day. Have a happy hump day, and we'll see you later.